Hello folks, welcome along to the channel, I'm the Custard Prophet. We're back here with the ABC Journeyman, uh, club number nine, which is Coventry City, and we're basically having our first season here with Coventry City in the Championship, predicted to finish 20th. We're pretty much in the last quarter of the season um, in the Championship, and we're sitting in third. Makes no sense considering the players we've got. We have no right to be here, but yet here we are. Um... Let's see how we do. We're playing Huddersfield today, who are very much a mid-table side, but they're not a ridiculous amount of points behind us. We could easily screw this up from here and end up outside the playoff positions. We are only currently five points ahead of South End, which isn't that far away. If we could get a win over Huddersfield, that would be really po uh, positive. But let's see how we've got here. Right, folks, well, you saw the game against Nottingham Forest last time out, and you can see things have continued to go very well. Yes, we've lost a couple of games recently. One of them was against Arsenal. Don't really mind that. We've just, just played them and lost 3-1. We were pretty much battered, but we did score a goal, Robert Allen, with the goal. But we limited their chances. We, were not, we weren't even on the same pitch as them for most of it, though. We just couldn't get the ball off them. They play the same style of football that we do and, and just are better at it. But games in the league, well, we played Blackpool, beat them 2-0. Ryan Van Rijswijk and Lidl. So that's two goals. We don't normally win by two. We did that two games running. Leo and Lidl, the game later against Bristol City. Away against Luton was a bit of a disaster. We scored one, but Luke Stewart scored from pretty much everywhere he kicked the ball and we lost that but followed it up very nicely with a 2-0 victory over Ipswich uh, Van Ryswick with a couple and then a 1-0 win away against Northampton who were bottom of the table Van Ryswick with that goal we lost against Villa funnily enough did not deserve to we got FM'd here <laughs> <laughs> with a penalty we played probably better than we have in any of the other games and ended up losing that so a little frustrating but we sit here with what is it about 10 games left to go and we're in an unbelievable position not one that I ever expected to be in so let's see if we can get over this game against Huddersfield and then we've got a bunch of games to go after that <sighs> I don't know what I'd predict. I'd love to get your predictions in the in the comments, but one of the reasons we're doing quite well is Harvey Davis is very good at keeping clean, clean sheets. So we're very, very pleased about him. Goal scoring is not this team's um um this this team's cup of tea. You'll see we don't really have a lot of goals in this team. You can see we got 11 goals from Lidl, 10 goals from Van Rijswijk. I suppose it's kind of shared around seven for Leo, six for Charlie Allen, four for Aaron Land, and then a few more shared around elsewhere. So it is kind of shared around. But you look at some of the players who had playing well. Scott D, absolute superstar. Leo, who's been brilliant. But all in all, it's been as good a thing as I, I can possibly imagine. So we're going to be playing Huddersfield today. And as always, we're not. there's not going to be a lot of chances in this. And I'm hoping we can get the chances, make the most of them. But we did play Arsenal two days ago. So I'm slightly concerned about that. Team we're going with. Van Rijswijk is going to lead the line. We've got Little on the left, Leo on the right. Allen and Land just ahead of Chavis in the centre of midfield. And then Peters, D, Kinch and Harris across the back line. Davis in goal. It's... It's a it's a settled lineup. I mean, there's about 15, 16 players who just kind of rotate in and out of this side, and we're just trying our best just to keep things ticking along. Can we get all the way to the playoffs? I don't know. I doubt it. But we're gonna we're gonna we've got one one more game here, so let's see how we do. Well, early highlight for us. Ten minutes in, we've got the ball here. Chavez, Allen. Oh, we lose the ball. I thought it was setting it up for a chance. Here's Harris. Ball in. It's Little. Oh, how did that stay out? Oh, that was a chance. That was a glorious chance, and we missed it. Chance for them. They hit the outside of the bar, so kind of one all in terms of reasonable chances, although ours was up a lot better than theirs. Well, Alan, is he going to have a shot from here? Just going to chip it in, maybe. Oh, good effort. Over the top, we've got hair in my eye. So we got, we're doing so much better with the shots here than than Huddersfield. But again, we're struggling to find the back of the net. We don't score a lot of goals, but we've certainly 
we're certainly relatively good in terms of creating, making the most of the chances we get because we don't get that many chances. Here's Leo into land, Aaron land, little into Harris, Alan, <laughs> Chavez. I don't know if that's the highlight into Alan. Looking for a beautiful ball through. It's Leo. Oh, it's in. Is that a goal? Is that the the linesman has not? Oh, he didn't even have his flag up. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was a lovely ball through. Linesman didn't flag. No, he did. He did flag. Come on. I can see what's going to happen here. I don't like it. He's little. He's through. Can he find a pass? Oh, he just misses out on the pass there. Kinch does really nicely to win that back. Pressuring his man is little. And it's Van Rieswick. That one's going to count. Little, lovely little ball into the forward. He's been flipping in and out with Allen, um, Charlie Allen and uh, Van Rieswick at the minute is probably getting the better of it. But it was Kinch who won the ball back brilliantly. And Land found little first time pass into Van Rieswick and found the corner. Beautiful stuff with 1-0 up. Right, 39 minutes in. Pleasing start to this game for us after losing a couple of games on the trot. Mitterly, one very good performance and one performance against a very tough side. But very slow build-up play from Huddersfield. Oh, that's nice. Lovely little deft finish underneath the goalkeeper. You have got to love that. Van Rijswijk getting a brace. But a dreadful little pass from their midfielder. And Allen... Finds Little with his wrong foot. And, I mean, he goes across the goalkeeper. I didn't think that was on. And Van Rijswijk, a couple of goals. And we are 2-0 up. Fabulous play so far. Well, we have got to half-time. It is yet another clean sheet at this point. And they've just had two shots out to our 10 with six on target. With a 1.09 XG. Very, very impressed with... Um, just the general performance. A disallowed goal and two goals for Van Rijswijk. It's pretty good, isn't it? Just want to make sure we continue it being pretty good in the second half. Although they do have a corner. Oh, it's in. Templeman did not get picked up with the corner. Always looked like he might be the man to win that. The far Look at him. He's about a foot higher than the guy. The guy doesn't even jump. That's probably the problem. So we're two on down. Clean sheet has gone away. Leo's tired. Well, made a bunch of changes. We are 85 minutes already. Alabi, Flint and Allen have come on at various times um, in the match. But are we going to be able to hold on? I really, really hope so. We've deserved something out of this game. They've offered very, very little. And, uh, well, Davis picks it up there. Th three minutes, 39. Barjones is on the uh, the pitch or he's, he's looks like he's coming on there they're looking to pressure van well he hasn't come on yet but is that is that a free kick van Rijswijk is offside are we gonna have this it's it's over it's over that wasn't even a chance and it is a wonderfully solid performance they had one shot and goal they did score that but i thought we looked in control of that for well certainly for the first half second half we kind of let it slide a little bit but it's not bad is it and we go on another victory let's see what that does to us well there we go we currently that's given us another little boost with seven points ahead of uh, Norwich and Southam now on 58 oh, and we are just five points behind Swansea it's a ludicrous ludicrous situation but we are continuing to pressure the teams above us and I do not know how we're doing it really have no idea folks but it's a lot of fun um, that we are able to do this oh if only we'd beaten Villa well we're playing Cardiff in just a few days so we'll sort that out um, we've not got long to go but we we're not going to come back for the derby game first of all we, we know it's not going to be a long way until then we need to kind of see what's going on. So we might come back for this game against West Brom, or maybe the one against South End. That might look like a, a pretty important game. So we'll see by then whether we are where we hope we are and still in those playoff positions, still picking up good results, or have things um, have things slowed down a little bit. Let me know in the comments how we're doing this, because I still haven't worked it out. This tiki-taka formation has, uh, or style of play, has been 
it's been perfect what we've needed to do in the championship for the players that we have. Um, yeah, it's worked a dream for a really quite weak side in my mind. But there we go. It's been it's been as good a season as I can remember having in a long time in FM with a side that just does not deserve to be where we are. But there we go. Anyway, folks, if you've enjoyed this, uh, please hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you're new. Let me know down in the comments if you think we are going to stick in those playoff positions. It's it's looking strong at the minute, but it could all go very wrong very, very quickly. I'll see you next time, and we'll find out how we do.